here's how real estate developers are lying to you. And you're really not going to believe it when I break it down for you. Now, buying in a new development can be really exciting. It can be very profitable. You get to purchase a property on today's pricing that is only going to be delivered in two to three years. And thus you're supposed to be making the appreciation along the way. I'm about to break it down to you so that you make sure you don't get caught up in these lies. My name is LJ Ginaga, real estate broker with LJ Realties. And if you get any value from this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. So the first thing that they do is they show you a model unit that is not the base price. Now, every single development will say condo starting at or home starting at, and that base price does not include a lot of things. If we're looking at condos, you probably don't have a quartz upgrade. You probably don't have a backsplash. You probably don't have light fixtures and so on and so forth, heated floors, etc. When talking about a house, you probably don't have the driveway. You're not going to have grass. There's not going to be a fence. The interior is also going to be the base finishings. And beyond that, what they do is most of the time in their showroom, it's going to be the most pimped out unit that you can think of. It'll have all the extras. It'll have all the bells and whistles. So you walk into the showroom, you fall in love. You got anchored with the base price. And now they tell you, well, this is going to cost you this much money. And all of a sudden you're almost floored. You can't believe it. It's so far apart from what you were expecting. Number two, gross square footage versus net square footage. Now, this is a very funny concept to me, but it's something that developers do all the time. When you are selling a property, you are selling it for the first time on gross square footage. That means that that includes two to three inches behind each wall, and it gives you a larger surface area, about 10% larger than it would on a net square footage. After that first initial sale, every single sale after that, so on the resale market, we only talk about net square footages. After that, people feel that you're cheating them with a gross versus net. So when people are selling you a gross versus net square footage, that's a completely different valuation. It's 10% higher one versus the other. If you go price per square foot, you're not comparing apples to apples unless you're doing it under the same scenario. So you want to make sure that you're really paying attention. Is this a gross square footage? Is this a net square footage? Are you including the balconies in the square footage? Are you not? Did you include the basement in this square footage? These are all little tricks that developers sometimes use to make a unit seem bigger than it actually is. Number three, selling you on a corner lot because it has a lot more windows and showing you the views from the corner because again, it's getting a lot more light and not representing the unit that you're actually able to afford or purchase in this light. So if you're looking at a corner unit and a development, you're typically going to have three sides of uh, windows. Any other units only going to have front and back. It's a completely different light exposure. It's a completely different light living experience. You want to be very careful with this when we're looking at a condo. If you're at a corner, you're going to have two full sides of windows. That's going to be a lot more light as well. A lot of people's first criteria when finding a new property is I want it to be super sunny. Now, if they're showing you this, however, showing you the prices for the other unit, well, it's kind of the bait and switch on you. You want to be very, very careful with that. So these are my top three things to look for when looking at a new development. Like I said, it can be very profitable. It can be a great experience, but you want to make sure you're prepared to not get caught in these traps. If you want to connect with me, please follow the link below. I would love to schedule a 15 minute consult with you to discuss your needs. Thank you so much for watching.